Welcome to MIC 206, Introduction to Microbiology Laboratory Techniques. Before we start to learn about and practice microbiology techniques, we have to learn about and practice lab safety. Upon coming to the second day of lab, you must have with you personal protective equipment, or PPE. This includes a lab coat, goggles, gloves, long pants, and closed toe shoes. The long pants must cover your entire legs and not leave any skin exposed. We will provide gloves for you in lab. Also note that the lab coat will remain in the lab throughout the semester and will not be permitted to be used for other lab coat requiring classes such as chemistry and biochemistry. If you forget to bring in closed toe shoes, you may be asked to wear the following footwear. It's best that you bring in appropriate footwear, that is closed toe shoes. One of the first things you'll do when coming to lab is disinfect the bench top. You'll find wipes on the top shelf of the bench. Pull out a wipe or two and begin to wipe down your half of the bench. Start at one end and remove any equipment that may be in your way, thoroughly wiping down the bench including the area underneath the top shelf of the bench. Make sure to wipe down the end of the bench too. Once done, dispose of the wipes in the regular trash bin and dispose your gloves in the red biohazard container. Bench tops may also be disinfected using a spray bottle containing 10% bleach or 70% ethanol. Move any equipment that may be in your way and spray the area with the disinfectant. Grab a few paper towels which are located at either ends of the bench tops and wipe down the bench top. Start at one end of the bench and thoroughly wipe down the bench. Make sure to also wipe down the area underneath the top shelf and make your way to the other end of your half of the bench. Remove any equipment in your way as necessary to thoroughly clean your bench top. Once done, throw away the paper towels in the regular trash bin. And your gloves in the red biohazard container. An ethanol fire in a beaker can be put out by simply placing a larger beaker over the beaker with the fire. Placing the beaker over the fire will cut off the oxygen supply, thereby extinguishing the fire. The chemical spill kits in room B63 are located under the sink. Simply walk through the main entrance past the computer screen and you will find it on your right. The chemical spill kit in room B65 is also located under the sink. Once you enter the main door to room B65, make your way towards the computer screen and you will find the sink to the right of the computer screen. It is likely that you'll encounter broken glass in this lab. If you do, notify your TA especially if a large piece of glass has broken. To clean up, carefully pick up the large pieces and take them to the broken glass container bin, which is located at the front of the class. Here you can discard broken glass ranging from beakers, flasks, and microscope slides. To pick up the smaller pieces of glass, Grab the dustpan and duster, which are located under the sink next to the chemical spill kit, and carefully sweep up the broken glass.
discard the broken glass in the broken glass container and return the dustpan back where you got it. If you come across a broken glass tube, it must be discarded regardless of its contents. First, appropriately discard its contents and then carefully take the broken glass tube to the broken glass container and discard the broken glass tube. Later in the course, you may encounter the situation where you cannot focus on a slide. You may find that the glass slide has broken. If this is the case, carefully move the objective lens out of the way and carefully remove the pieces of the broken glass. You may discard the broken glass slide in the small red sharps container bins located on your bench top. This course will teach you how to aseptically transfer media and bacterial cultures from one container to another. Micropipettes will be commonly used to do that. Working near the flame, open the pipette tip box, pick up a tip, close the box lid, and transfer the sample. Once you have aseptically transferred your samples, eject the micropipette tip into the small plastic biohazard waste bag located on your bench top.